everyone welcome back to my channel this is me trisha and you're watching trisha's lifestyle so today i am back with a very different kind of a video this today's video is about how you can make your own thumbnails uh, in your phone itself and you do not need any other device to make that also it's the first impression when a person receives your video so making a good thumbnail is really very important so a lot depends on that a person will click on it or not depends on your thumbnail and your title of the video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can make your thumbnails look good and attractive for the viewers and also firstly i'm going to tell you what kind of apps i use how what are the tips and then i will give you one to two examples of how you can make your thumbnails so yeah if this interests you please keep on watching So starting with what are the apps that I use. First app I use is Snapseed. Snapseed is a very good app where you can edit your pictures according to your wish. And second I use is Pixart. Pixart is also very good. You can put some stickers, different kind of styles and I use Pixart all the time to edit my pictures, edit my thumbnails. It's a very good app. Next I use is background eraser. Sometimes you might see that only our like only our faces and the bodies are there and the other backgrounds you know you can erase it is text on photos. They provide you with many other different kinds of fonts which you can use on your thumbnail which is going to make it look more better. If you don't want to make your thumbnails by yourself then what you can do is you can install apps which will make the thumbnail for you. Firstly, if you are new to YouTube, if you don't know, you have to verify your YouTube channel. If you don't verify your YouTube channel, then you will not get the chance of putting the customized uh, thumbnail for your video. And if you don't know how to verify your channel, I will link a video from which you can learn how to verify your channel. That's going to help you. Point number 2 is you have to decide what kind of thumbnail you want for your videos. So some channels you can see that they have they follow a specific theme for the thumbnails, you know, the specific their backgrounds are same, the fonts are same. So you have to decide if you want a specific theme or you want to make a different kind of thumbnail for every different kind of video. Which uh, for me I like doing that. I like doing the second one. Now for the third tip I'm going to tell you is don't take screenshot from your own video to make a thumbnail okay that doesn't look good you know like do a photo shoot specifically for your thumbnail or to take a screenshot i don't think that's going to be a good quality so do click specific pictures for your thumbnail next tip is um, include yourself for the thumbnail as a person you are there that is more appealing to the person also uh, for doing that don't include some old pictures of taken 2 to 3 years ago and put that in your thumbnail make a thumbnail which uh, like for example i am making this video i'm wearing this only i now only i will click some pictures so that i can make the thumbnail of my video so you have to keep in mind all those things that you have to include yourself for the thumbnail and also yeah you have to make the two look relevant so the next point is you have to keep in mind that you have to make your thumbnail catchy for making them click on your video you have to make your thumbnail catchy and attractive so that the person because that person doesn't know that what is there inside your video if it is good or if it's bad they doesn't know but you have to make your thumbnail properly so now we come to the next point write less when you are adding text in your thumbnail put pictures put images and put less number of text okay uh, so that it's clearly visible for the audience okay so now we come to the next point when you are making a thumbnail the idea of your video should be clear provide your audience with a idea that you are going to see this or you are going to see that so that it's easier for them uh, to decide if they want to watch this video or not and also we come to the next point now do not click bait i cannot stress on this enough because they will know eventually you know if they click on your video and they find something else then they will you know they will not watch it okay and they'll make thumbnail which is relevant to the video which is true which is honest so otherwise the viewers will get disappointed and they will not watch your video again they will know that you are a person who click baits and that's not good that's definitely not what we want these are all the tips which you have to keep in mind to make a good thumbnail okay so now let's begin with the second part of the video now i'm going to show you how i click 
pictures for my thumbnails so yeah now we'll turn the screen recording on so that you can see show you how i make the thumbnail of this video also and that's going to be the first example next two to three example i will make so i hope that helps you now let's go to that part first i am going to open snapseed and then i'm going to select the picture which i am going to edit as you can see i selected this one then i increase the ambience brightness contrast and the shadow of the picture then I opened the selective tool and I brightened up the background of my picture. Now I've done editing and now you can see the before and after of the picture. Now I'm going to crop the picture and then I am going to save it. In the next step of editing, I opened the add text app. There I opened the shape, fill shape tools and I selected this one and you can resize it according to your wish. Similarly, I took two more shapes of the same sort and I on top of it, I'm going to write make thumbnails in your phone. You can even resize the text as well. After I was done adding the text in the photo in the add text app, I saved the image and then I opened PixArt. In PixArt, what I did was I added two to three stickers. So you have to open stickers and then I searched over there YouTube. As you can see, you get multiple options over there. So I selected this logo of YouTube and then I put it in one side of the corner. Then it looked a little bit empty for me, so I searched for stars. Then here also you can see that there were multiple options. So I selected this yellow star and then I put it on the other corner. And now I got one of my thumbnail options. Now I am going to show you how I edited the thumbnail of this specific video. Now let's begin. First I opened the background eraser and then I selected the same image and as you can see you have to crop it as much as possible so i cropped it and then i started to erase the background of the image while erasing the background just try and be a little bit careful but you don't have to worry if you mess up a little bit because uh, before saving it you can obviously uh, smoothen out the edges of the picture after I was done erasing the background of the picture, I saved it and before that I smoothened the edge with the number 5 and then I saved the image. After that I opened add text and selected this pink color matching the pink of my cloth and selected a plain background for my picture to edit. Then I opened PixArt and selected the same pink background and added the same picture of mine. I put a little bit of border and then I selected it and saved it. Then I opened add text and selected the same shapes as before and I placed it on the side of the picture. Similarly like before only I added the three black blocks and then on top of it I wrote make YouTube thumbnails in your phone. I left a little bit space for adding the YouTube sticker in the PixArt letter you will see that. Now after saving that image I opened PixArt once again and I searched for the YouTube logo and I placed it inside of the space which I left. Then to make the picture more presentable I selected this leaf sticker and I placed it on the empty spaces of the corners. You can see while using this apps you can resize each and everything according to your wish then what I did was I selected this star sticker and placed it in the middle which I think looked more better so after I was done with that here are the final results these are the two pictures I came up with so these are some ways how I edit my YouTube thumbnails and also this is how you can uh, edit your thumbnails to make it look good and make it look catchy for the eyes of the audience. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.